What stands out to me most about Emily is that she will always be herself, no matter what. She will continuously, no matter who she meets, no matter what family member she meets, what friend she meets of mine, she will always be herself. She will always make the dumb, stupid jokes that I love. What stands out to me most about Cole is probably his laugh. It's kind of outrageous, but I love it. I think it's the cutest thing in the world. And when he smiles, it's just like, it warms my heart. I mean, oh my gosh, there's, <laughs> I feel like there's so many things that I notice about him and that make me so happy. So I can't really choose. I mean, he's one of the best people I've ever met. He's respected me more than any other guy that's ever been in my life. And I feel like with him, I'm safe and he just makes me laugh overall, so it's always a good time, but whenever, you know, we need to be serious, it's also serious. I think I'm looking forward to just being there in that moment at the ceremony when it's all finally happening, because I feel like there's been so much leading up to it, especially <laughs> with COVID and everything. It's been a rough ride, so when I'm walking down that aisle to him and I see him and we lock eyes, I think that's the moment that I'm looking forward to the most. What moment's gonna stand out most to me tomorrow is probably the first look. What excites me most about being married to Emily is that I've always had great, great people in my life to look up to. Well, I mean, my grandparents have been married for 60 years. They met when they were 15, something along those lines. They've been together ever since. My mom and dad have been together since my mom was 18. I mean, I've always had that system of faith, system of always giving someone everything that they need and always trying to be a better person for the next day. Um, I will always strive to have her there and I'm excited for that commitment. I hope people are gonna be able to look at our relationship and see the love and the laughter that we have together and honestly just see the life that we kind of give to each other because I feel like he just gives me so much life and so much happiness that it just kind of emulates. What I'm looking forward to most in marriage is the partnership. To always have my best friend there. To have her there by my side whenever I need her, whenever she needs me. I, I, I'm excited to be that rock for her and to be that person she can lean on and cry and basically count on whenever she wants. She just stood out to me. I mean, before we met, we sat there at long talks. Sat there, talked about life, talked about religion, talked about um, politics even, you know? And everything just kind of lined up. It was just that perfect little, basically I, I say constellation. Something in the stars kind of wrote out and I mean, Emily's someone I could have never imagined but everything I've ever hoped for. I chose Cole because from probably one of the first talks that we ever had, he mentioned to me his morals, his values, what he wanted in a life someday with his wife. And that was crazy to me because I feel like nobody does that nowadays, but we just sat there and we talked and he told me everything about his dreams, about how he values family and about how Someday he's gonna value his wife so much and he wants to take care of her and he wants to love her with everything he has and I want to do the same for my husband and that just really meant a lot to me but I think something crazy kind of that both him and I think is that we didn't necessarily choose each other but we were chosen for each other. Um, we met each other at a really really crazy time in our lives and I think that we sort of needed each other and obviously I chose him for all of the reasons that I said before that he has the same values as me and I know he's going to be a great husband but I really do think that we were chosen for each other. The most significant part about Emily basically entering my family, it's, it's big. I can count on her. I can trust. I know. I mean looking at Sarah, looking at Tab, looking at her dad, looking at everyone in her life, her grandparents, everything like that, I know she's going to be a good mom. There's not a question in my mind. I love her so much. And just to think that there's gonna be little hers running around, little me's, I mean, I'm gonna love them a lot. But really what I wanna tell you is, this is it for me. I mean, what I've told you and what I'll always tell you is I'll end with you. 
I love you a lot. Cole, before we get married, I just wanted to tell you I love you. I really can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I mean, these past few years have been the best of my entire life, and I just am so, so excited to marry you. <laughs> Throughout our time, I have always struggled to figure out what my calling was in this world. Every day I was so confused on what I wanted to be when I grew up. It brought me through a roller coaster of emotions, a ride that you never once got out of, and I want to thank you for that. But the more I thought about it and let myself breathe to think about what mattered to me most in life, I realized that what I wanted to be when I grew up was the one who gets to laugh and love with you forever, your partner in crime, and most importantly, your wife. We've heard more than once that we're too young to get married, but if only they understood how it felt to be loved by you. If only they knew how much we've been through in these years being together and the strong foundation we've built on shared morals, values, and love. <laughs> but overall, I think that when that one special person loves you and you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with them, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. I can't believe how lucky I am that I get to do this with you. You have given me a life I only ever saw in my dreams. You make me laugh every minute and love every second. You have made me realize <laughs> that life is what you make it. And you make it so fun, so beautiful, and so fulfilling. I can't even imagine what it would be like if you hadn't walked through that car door the night we met. So, I promise to never let those feelings fade, to never stop working on this once in a lifetime chance at love. I vow to always try to understand, even when the dirty clothes are one foot from the hamper and the toothpaste is all over the counter. I will never stop being your number one supporter because you, I know you're going to continue to do great things in your life. You keep my spirit alive and I cannot wait to keep it burning with youth and happiness even when we grow old and gray. Before you, I was running into life confused and lost, but after I found something I believe only God could give me. He gave you to me and me to you. I don't believe there's any other way it could have happened. You came into my life with the kindest heart, most loving smile and calming spirit. Three years later, and I still can't fathom how I got so lucky to be yours, but I promise you I will spend every day trying to make it worth your while. I'll never stop showing you how grateful I am to have your heart. Thank you for giving me a new soul, a new life, one that's more me than I've ever had before. You loved me, and all of a sudden I became the person I had always wanted to be. Cole, I love every single part of you. You're my best friend and now my life partner. I could not be happier with the person God has laid in front of me, and I promise to honor him by loving, respecting, and caring for you every chance that I get. We have so much life ahead of us, and I'm so glad I get to spend it with you. I love you, Cole, forever and always with everything I have. Before God and these witnesses, now I pronounce them husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. lucky enough to spend you know, a lot of time with these guys and see them grow together and learn from each other and, and just see such a deep, special love that they have. Getting to be behind Cole was great and then I really lost it just seeing the love in them inside. <laughs> Today, it just, it blew me away. It was, it was amazing. You are my favorite person ever. That's right, Trevor. Not Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> As we ventured into adulthood, we've been roommates now for years and um, 
then Emily came, Emily came along and I always hoped that he would marry somebody that I liked because, I mean, we were always together. We were inseparable. And I'm so grateful that he picked somebody like you because we became best friends. And I'm so, so proud of you guys. <laughs> and I'm so excited to see where you guys go in life. And um, I'm excited to be there. I just, I can't believe that, I'm not, I can't believe, I mean, I know my daughter and I know she picked someone like Cole and I'm so happy that she did because they just love you so much and I just can't believe how perfectly it just feels like we felt like family right away and and that's because of you know wonderful person you are so thank you for loving my daughter like you do you have no idea what it means to me as a mom the way you love her ever since you were a young girl we knew that there was something special about you um, your smile would melt our hearts, your laughter would always brighten our days. But as you grew older, we saw how smart you were becoming and how, <laughs> how amazing that you were. And I don't know if you know this, but I've been praying for you since she was a little girl. And <clears throat> here you are. And God has definitely answered our prayers. And that's an amazing thing. But seriously, you found Cole, and that's amazing. And I knew he was good when I saw how you interacted with my mom. Because that's how you're going to interact with other women in your life. So I saw that as such a positive and such a just blessing to see you treat her that way. And I know that you'll treat me that way when it comes down to it. I love her. <laughs> I do not love a lot of people in my life. I don't like a lot of people in my life. <laughs> I do love a lot of people at that table. Most of the people at that table. Not all of them. But, um, <laughs> so you figured out on your own. <laughs> um, but I do love her. She just won my heart almost immediately. All I ever wanted for my children was for their family to love them as much as I love them. And I got that. Have fun, make sure God's first, and it'll be a lot of fun.